Welcome back to our channel, it's Bella here. In today's tutorial, I created this makeup look for you guys. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, then please keep on watching. So the first thing that I did was prime my eyelids and I used the Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer to do so. And then I went in with a damp beauty sponge and then some translucent powder to set that in place. And the first thing that I did was I grabbed my Pop Beauty Celestial Light Highlighter as my brow bone highlight. And then I went into Makeup Geek Cosmetics Cupcake Eyeshadow. And I just put that in my crease going in back and forth motions. And it's a really light, dusty pink shade. But with a cool undertone. And then next I grabbed the Anastasia Beverly Hills Love Letter Eyeshadow. And I used this small angled brush to apply this in my crease and I made the line a little bit above my actual crease and I'm just going in back and forth motions and then I grabbed the cupcake shade from Makeup Geek and a smaller blending brush just to really concentrate that shade in the crease going directly over that line and then I grabbed a bigger fluffy brush and then I went back in with cupcake once again just to make sure there are no harsh lines. And then I went back in with that Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer and I just went ahead and cleaned up the lid space and then I went in with my BH Cosmetics Club Tropicana 28 color foil eyeshadow palette and I grabbed this pinkish shade and I just packed that all over the lid and this eyeshadow is gorgeous. I love all the foiled eyeshadows in that palette so I highly recommend it and it's affordable. And then I went back in with the Anastasia Love Letter eyeshadow and I just feathered that inwards from the outer corner just going in tapping motions. And then I grabbed my Sophie Bella Lashes in the style Bali. I will link the website to these lashes in the description box below. And then I went back in with that Pop Beauty Celestial Light Highlighter and a small pencil brush and I just focused that on my inner corner and I feel like this really just opens up the eye. And then I went back in with Love Letter and a Defined Angled Brush just to concentrate that right below my lower lashes. And then I picked up that cupcake shade and a smaller brush and I just buffed that out so that we do not have a sharp line on our lower lash line. And for mascara, I used the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar X Fiber Mascara and I used the one side and I just put that on my lower lashes. And this is the finished eye look. Stay tuned if you want to see how I achieved the full face look. So the first thing that I did was I grabbed my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion and I used the shades 901 and 902 mixed together and I feel like it just gave a really nice glow to start off this look. And then I went in with my Bella Pierre Color Correcting Palette and I used the orange shade to cancel out my under eye circles. And then I blended it out with a damp beauty sponge and as you can see it doesn't look as crazy once you blend it out. And when we add concealer it's just going to make the under eyes super super light and cancel out that dark circles that I had. And then I went in with my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I cannot put this foundation down. I tried to use a different foundation today to switch it up for you guys and I really couldn't. And I blended it out with a damp beauty sponge. And then I went in with my LA Girl concealer in the shade Chestnut to contour and I put that on my forehead, on my nose, my cheekbones, my lower lip, and my jawline. And I blended it out with the same beauty sponge that we used to apply our foundation so that's a really good trick to make your contour blend out easier. And I went in with the NARS Natural Radiant Concealer in the shade Custard. And I just put that underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on my chin, and a little bit on my forehead as well. 
just all the areas on the center parts of my face that we want to highlight. And then I went in with my damp beauty sponge once again to blend that all out. And then to set that all in place, I baked underneath my eyes and on the bridge of my nose with my Maybelline Loose Powder. And then to highlight, I used the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette in Gold Sands. And I used the light champagne color up on the right. And I really, really loved this shade. It's super vibrant and just champagne, but gold at the same time. And then I used the BH Cosmetics Satin Bronzer. And then I used the blush in the palette as well. And I just put that on the apples of my cheeks and a little bit on my nose and chin. Just all the areas that the sun would naturally hit my face. And for lip liner, I used the Makeup Forever Lip Liner in the shade 21. And then for lip gloss, I used the Dose of Colors Can You Not Lip Gloss. And I felt like this lip looked really, really good with the eye. And this is a finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this look. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.